Hi everyone, in this video we are going to set up our backend. As without backend the application makes no sense. And here for this project I have already created it. The backend that I am going to use is built with Ktor and I have already published a complete tutorial about this. So if you want to learn building backend with Kotlin you can check out that video. I will leave the link to that video in the description. And if you don't want to mess up with backend then not a problem. You can just configure it in your machine by downloading my source code. The link to the source code is also given in the description of this video. So the first step is get this project from my github repository. And once you have it open the project using IntelliJ IDEA. You can use any other IDE as well but I like this IDE so I am using IntelliJ IDEA. And it is the community edition that I am using so it is absolutely free. Once you got the project you have to set up the database where our data will be stored. I am using Postgres. If you open this file in the project that is called database factory then you can see here I am providing the JDBC URL and this part of the URL is the database name then we have user and then we have password. You may have to change these values as per your machine. But before changing these values you have to install Postgres SQL in your machine because I am using this database for this project. You can use another database if you want but to keep things simple I would recommend use this database only because if you use another one you have to mess up with configurations. So just download and install Postgres SQL it is available for all the operating systems. Once you have this Postgres SQL installed in your machine you have to open command prompt or if you are using a Mac you have to open terminal. Now from the command prompt we have to go to Postgres and for this we will write psql hyphen capital U then the username and the default username is postgres. Now enter password. In my case the password is 1234. If you have set some other password you have to enter your password. Now I am inside postgres. Here if you want to check the list of databases just write a backward slash and then list. And then here you can see I have the database already created that I am using for this API project. So I am using my story app that is already in my database. But for your case you have to create a database. And to create a database you can run the SQL command that is create database and then db name. Let's say I want to create one more database my story app one. So database is created. Now if I list the databases again you can see I have this my story app one here. So this is how you have to create the database and you have to configure this JDBC URL here. Once everything is done you can run this project. So I will run this project from here. So you can see it is running now and for testing the APIs I am using postman. So you also need to download postman or you can use any other API testing client if you have. Now here you can see inside postman I have entered the login URL. So this is the login URL. We have to pass email and password. The request method is post and then we will send the request. So send and you can see the login is working absolutely fine. If you want to see other APIs you can go to the project. Now inside project we have this roots folder. Inside this folder we have auth, story and user. For example you can open auth roots and here you can see we have auth register, auth login. If you go to story roots then here we have many roots. For example this my page, add, id, update 
and a bunch of different APIs. You can test all these APIs and if you find any issue, you can comment below or you can raise an issue in the GitHub project. So for now it is working and you have to configure this API in your machine before moving ahead to the next video. So get ready with your backend as from the next video, we will jump back to Android development. In case you have any question, please drop your comments. That is all for this video friends. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.